balance being professional and authentic. Authentic is a core value of mine, and so it's really important, and yet we don't wanna squash the fact that we're all human. The fact that we are going to have bad days, that we're going to be stressed, that things are not going to go well, or just frankly, we're just tired or cranky, cranky. Watch any of those hangry videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, one of the lessons that I learned about this was when I was really little. Uh, we were very fortunate to grow up in beautiful Niagara Lake in, in Niagara. And one of the people that we met there who, who had a summer home was Veronica Tennant, prima ballerina with the National Ballet of Canada. Her lovely daughter, Jessica, was exactly the perfect age in between my sisters and my age. And so we would always try to visit with them when, we were, when, we, when they were visiting. Now, you can imagine as a prima ballerina, your downtime's really important. And so Veronica did a wonderful job of recuperating when she wasn't in performance mode. And, then, and that's kind of how we came to know her. So seeing her in performance mode was just captivating. I mean, to see somebody as a professional ballerina, professional singer, professional of any, any artistic persuasion is just absolutely captivating. And when we had only known her in her casual space, it was all the more exciting. And so when we went backstage and we, we saw her, we couldn't believe at the end of this performance, she had this massive ice pack around her ankles. And we said, what's, what's, what's going on? What's, she said, well, I sprained my ankle just before the end of, of the first act and there was three acts. And, and I remember as a kid saying, and you, you kept dancing? And she said, well, of course. She had to be professional. And yet behind stage with us, without a thousand people watching her, she could be authentic. She could share with us that, oh yeah, I mean, this is, this is pretty painful being a ballerina. In fact, I think she may have cautioned me that you may want to be very, very sure you want to be a professional dancer. And here I am years later, not a professional dancer. But what the message I got was, you can have an onstage face that shows the epitome of professionalism and it'd be perfectly okay to express your weakness when you're off stage. Who do you share your vulnerabilities, your weakness? If you're not having a good day, do you have that place to land? And similarly, are you taking care of yourself well enough so that you can have sufficient onstage presence, that you are professional, that you're poised, and yet you also seem accessible, that people don't think you're, you're perfect, you've got it completely all figured out because then you don't seem real. Are you able to share with the people who depend on you, that you trust, that report to you and that you work with, that you don't always have good days too and that your onstage face is for their betterment, betterment but don't believe for one second that you've got it all figured out. Any professional athlete, musician, dancer, speaker will be able to tell you the importance of balancing professionalism and authenticity is knowing this intricate balance of your onstage and your offstage presence. There needs to be an authentic line that connects it and a level of professionalism that people trust you. Any tips on how you balance professionalism and authenticity, then by all means, please share. In the meantime, my name is Sarah McDaniel. Be well and be great.